Hello, my friends. And before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor of this video. This video is brought to you by Beardlint. But there's none today, though. Thank goodness. So that can't hijack the conversation in the comment section. But it's December, so you know what that means. Spawn. I guess. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate came out. Been playing a lot more Mortal Kombat 11. Also been playing a lot of Spawn. I forgot how much fun Spawn is to play as. So I've been on kind of a Spawn kick. There was a part of me that was like, I should review the Spawn movie because I've gotten some requests to do so. But the HBO Spawn series, I feel like is the underdog. And so I, I want to talk about it because though it, it feels like the underdog of the two, it shouldn't be. So here we go. Intro? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. Todd McFarlane's Spawn, or Spawn the Animated Series as some call it. So the animated series of Spawn came out on HBO in the 90s. It came out around the same time of the movie. It was the 90s. Spawn craze was everywhere, folks. If you had an art class in junior high or high school at that time, your fellow classmates were drawing Spawn. End of story. And the story of Spawn in the animated series, movie, comic book, it's all generally the same. Al Simmons, he's a mercenary, gets killed. His soul goes to hell. Then the devil boss, Mal Bulger, just like, you want to see your wife Wanda again? All right, well, be a general in my army and you can go see her. Al's like, sure. So five years later, Mal Bull just sends him back with a burned up, messed up face. It's been five years, so Wanda's moved on. So he really gets screwed in the deal, which is really cool. I saw an interview back in the day. I think the interview was actually on the Spawn VHS in the 90s, but Todd McFarlane was talking about the HBO series and getting that green lit. And he took it to a number of studios who were all like, yeah, Saturday morning cartoon style. Sounds good. He was like, not really what I'm going for. And then HBO, of course, being HBO, we're like, oh, hell, murder, eviscerations, mayhem, crime, sex, blood, we could do that. Also, if you didn't get the gist there, I will blatantly tell you right now, this is not an animated series for kids. No, this is as rated R as rated R ever was in animated form or otherwise. Sex, murder, nudity, violence, death. Do not bring the kids. So the animated series Spawn was on HBO for three seasons. Which at the beginning of each episode of the animated series, you have Todd McFarlane there as kind of this philosophical crypt keeper. But rather than <laughs> He's giving you philosophical questions like, What would you do if at the moment of death, a voice from the darkness offered you the chance to live again? Point is, in terms of perception and validity, I thought it was great to have Todd McFarlane in it. And I... I just enjoy the fact that he's there to spin some philosophical questions for the episode, how they pertain to the episode. And for my money, they do a great job at illustrating the themes of Spawn, you know, the tragedy of what Spawn is. One of the things they do well is the fact of like, well, where does Al Simmons end and the hell Spawn begin? You know, there was something in the movie when I saw it, I was like, well, it just kind of feels like Al Simmons comes back as a hell Spawn, I guess, but he's still Al Simmons. In the animated series, you feel like this is a hell Spawn who was once Al Simmons. Simmons, not necessarily the same. It's kind of a theme that I saw in Alan Moore's Saga of the Swamp thing, where it's like, at what point is the fact that you are the aggregate of the memories of someone, at what point are you not them though? It's actually something, again, in the animated series as well as the movie, but I feel like the animated series really hit it home, is the fact that Spawn digs up the body of Al Simmons. But right there, you're like, well, that's the physical body, but this is a physical body that you have. It, so if there's two separate physical bodies, are you really him? I mean, question for the philosophers, one could say, oh yes, because of the soul, but his memories are so fragmented, he's it's, it's not really dealing in the same reality of Al Simmons. In fact, his memories are so fragmented at first, he could be pacing the hallways of Bly Manor. And that's what I loved about the animated series. He definitely does feel like a wraith, though he starts peeling back the layers and remembering who he was as Al Simmons more as time goes on. But at first, he's just a ball of instinct. But I do think the animated series illustrates it's better the fact that he's a hellspawn who was once a man rather than he's a man who is now a hellspawn. And the animation style for me totally works. It just captures that tone of this dark, fucked up underworld of New York. A lot of shadows in terms of lighting. It reminds me of Batman the Animated Series, but the characters don't have the square jaw art style of Batman the Animated Series. So I guess it kind of reminds me of Gargoyles if Gargoyles was dragged through the rated R coals. But in terms of animation style and tone, you can totally tell they wanted to create this cinematic feeling in animated form, which kind of goes as a no shit. That's really what animation 
usually is or should be, but it's, it doesn't always feel that way. You don't always see that kind of cinematic effort thrown into an animation, but they really did with Spawn. Between the horror movie elements used when showing Spawn dispatch people, and the film noir investigative elements of people looking into him and researching these kills, it totally gives this urban legend mythos to the character of Spawn. I thought that was a great vibe for the series. But this mythical Hellwraith persona is really seen from the way some people get dispatched, you know, someone's gonna kill somebody and you see those chains in the cape come out of the darkness, just wrap around someone and suck them in. It kind of reminds me of Batman Begins, though I should say Batman Begins reminds me of Spawn since Spawn came out before Batman Begins. But you know that scene where he's just sucking people into the shadows? Imagine that, but it's those chains from Spawn's outfit and the cape and they suck them in and then you see compound fractures and death. And we cannot talk about Spawn without talking about Keith David's voice as Spawn. Keith David at this point was no stranger to voice animation. He's the voice of Goliath and Gargoyles. Also, he is the voice of Spawn. For people who've watched the HBO series, he's Spawn. Keith David as the voice of Spawn is quite frankly and quite simply perfect. He's perfect because he has that voice that lends itself to being that sense of security and compassion for the flashback scenes with him and Wanda when he's human and also the voice of a hell spawn the dude just has that voice that can be either just also why it's amazing they got Keith David to voice spawn in Mortal Kombat 11 not only does it add validity to the fact it's like oh yeah he's the voice of spawn and he's spawning here but I'm glad that Keith David's just he's it's not like he's done with spawn which gives me hope for the future <laughs> which I'll talk about in a second. Hey, one can hope, it's free to hope. There were a couple things in this series that left me wanting. First of all, Clown. In seasons one and two, he's there, and the Clown's kind of the babysitter for a new Hell Spawn. And so he's there around Spawn, he pops up every once in a while, taunts him, talks some shit. Unlike John Leguizamo in the movie Spawn, like John Leguizamo in Spawn the movie was the comic relief. I think he did a great job as Clown in the Spawn movie, in fact, He's a standout and John Leguizamo remains one of the most underrated actors working. But the movie Spawn was still PG-13, so that comic relief was there to kind of lighten the mood and keep it PG-13 for the rating system, I imagine. In the HBO series, Clown is just a fucking asshole. He's a real son of a bitch, which I think represents a demon of hell more accurately. Like, if there is a hell, I imagine someone who's from hell, a demon from hell, is probably more along the lines of clown from the animated series Spawn than, you know, the funny clown from the movie. But in seasons one and two, clown was there to taunt Spawn, nip at his heels a bit, show up uninvited. In season three, he's just, his absence is very much felt. And I don't know if clown's absence in season three was because they were like, oh, we're kind of on the verge of getting canceled. So we got to throw a lot of stuff at the wall and hopefully it sticks and we got to move things forward faster. So season three delves more into the fact that hell has soldiers on earth, but so does heaven and they're clashing, but this hell spawn doesn't seem to be a complete and total asshole, so there's conflict there. Which takes us back to season one of Spawn, in which in one episode they introduce the character Angela, and they just, she's never in the series again. That is something that sticks out like a sore thumb. You can't help but be like, why was she even in it if they're not gonna have her back? So I'm glad they delved into what it looked like that set up, which is the fact that there are heaven soldiers as well as hell soldiers. But it's weird that she was even touched on if they didn't show her again the only thing I can think of is a licensing issue of some sort. I believe Neil Gaiman wrote her arc, so I don't know if like Neil Gaiman's like, no, no, that's my character, I don't know. Which brings me to the fact and the point, yes, it was canceled and you feel it. It's not like it was canceled, but they got to wrap it up. It ends like, all right, I wanna get my soul back done. Oh, canceled, the end, all right. Shit. And Todd McFarlane's been trying to get a new live action Spawn movie made. When you hear him talk about it, it sounds like he essentially wants a Spawn movie to be in line with the Spawn HBO animation, but live action version. In which case, if given the choice of having a new live action Spawn where it's like, all right, start from scratch and you see the Spawn story again, or just picking up a season four of the animated series, something that we already have three seasons of built up, I would take a season four of the animated series. I mean, shoot, I suppose we don't have to have one or the other. We could have both. I mean, I'm not gonna speak for Keith David, but he voiced Spawn in MK11. It doesn't seem like he's done with the character. And as we've seen lately in animated series that was canceled decades before, 
it can come back. Yeah, how weird is that? Animaniacs, speaking of which, Spawn. But I'm just saying, it's possible. And the point of all this is I think the HBO Spawn series is worth a watch for you. It's not the fantasy sci-fi Spawn going on a rampage romp that maybe you want, maybe that's what you like about the movie. If the Spawn movie always made you feel like it was missing something, I mean, shoot, I enjoy the Spawn movie in that guilty pleasure kind of way. I do. You know how many times I'll be playing Mortal Kombat 11 using Spawn and if I'm getting my ass kicked, I audibly say out loud, Use your armor! But if given the subject matter of Spawn, the movie made you feel like it was missing something, like they could have gone deeper with some of the themes, check out the HBO animated series. You might find what you're looking for there. I mean, the DVD of the entire series is 12 bucks on Amazon. It's not that expensive. I would like to see a Blu-ray release. Absolutely, I hope they do that. But the fact that they haven't, again, shows that maybe there's not much interest in reviving this series, but I do think the series is worth a conclusion. Um, one can hope. All right, so Todd McFarlane's Spawn or Spawn the Animated Series. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.